Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We're back again with some piping hot tea that's sure to have Meghan Markle screaming into the void once again. This time, the former D-list cable actress turned royal renegade just got served a heaping platter of humble pie courtesy of one of Britain's top fashion designers. We're talking a full-on public humiliation, so scathing. I almost feel bad for the perpetually oppressed Duchess. Almost. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, the delicious drama went down at the recent Fragrance Foundation Awards over in London, when legendary designer Julian MacDonald took the stage. This iconic king of the catwalk has dressed everyone from Beyonce and Jello to British royalty themselves over his illustrious career. He's Emmy-winning, Grammy-slaying, pure high-end hout culture personified. So you know whatever words dribbled from his fire-stained lips that night would be swallowing anyone he threw shade towards whole. And boy did MacDemold ever go there when the subject of a certain miss, Meghan Markle's potential to become a future fashion muse came up. In case you've forgotten amidst the spare-fueled media mania of early 2023, this whole fiery fiasco actually kicked off back in 2022. See, Mencken's been very publicly trying to revamp her cred as some kind of luxury influencer and designer darling on a never-ending PR tour reminiscent of her faux cable TV stardom days. Part of that sad rebranding tour included Megan's reps reportedly hitting up countless big-name designers like Julian in hopes of getting the disgraced Duchess decked out in their fresh threads. Because you know the former royal worker bee turned ultra-wealthy celebrity simply had to flaunt her Bon Ton-style evolution in front of the entire world with some new red carpet looks. Stay relevant at all costs and whatnot. Well, according to multiple reports, when Megan's team pitched their potential partnership to Julian MacDonald's camp, they got straight up ghosted. No response, no call back, just the deafening silence that can only mean one thing. They didn't think she was nearly A-list enough to be caught dead wearing Julian's pristine celeb-studded designs. Cue the curb music. Even worse, Julian himself ended up straight torching Megan from the award show stage when asked about ever dressing the royal turncoat. And I quote, no, I prefer Kate and Camilla. Ouch, just unrepentant savagery out of nowhere. He didn't even try to sugarcoat it or dismiss her nicely. Just an outright hard rejection of ever wanting to glamorize the woman who exploited then nuked the very monarchy Julian still embraces with wide open glamour arms. To really twist the dagger already lodged to keep in Megan's notoriously frail ego, Julian went on to heap lavish praise upon Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla. MacDonald gushed about how he'd love to dress the Princess of Wales and raved over his great relationship with Camilla. You know, two women who actually do exemplify the poise, grace, and regality a top designer like Julian admires, rather than flame everything out like Megan's scorched earth tour. Just an absolute straight shiv to the former suit star's last hopes of high society validation on her endless journey to remain culturally relevant outside the very royal family that she's milked to no end for exposure. Homegirl can't even pay for Julian's co-sign at this point, a brutal indictment on her permanent easy blister status if there ever was one. And can we really be surprised Julian serving Macon this heaping dose of humility pie? After the past few years of the Duchess routinely nuking any sense of decency, privacy, or family allegiance to continuously promote herself, does she deserve any slice of the fashion world's respect? Not only did she ruthlessly drag the entire royal family, you know, the very people whose platform handed her a global stage and prestige, through the mud for profit, but she even went so far as to repeatedly deny the Queen's own truth about Meghan's bullying controversy. Talk about a huge no-no in any industry, let alone one built around such exorbitant etiquette and exclusivity like high fashion. No designer worth their stitching wants to be caught dead at affiliating with someone so remorseless about decorum that they'd publicly discredit the late monarch who's still so beloved worldwide. That's a one-way rocket to complete irrelevancy as far as the hot culture goes, never mind all the other bridges Megan has gleefully scorched within royal circles. And it's not like this savage burn from Julian came out of nowhere for anyone paying attention. 
He's hardly the first influential fashion industry voice to serve the Duchess of Defiance a big fat slice of humble pie. Months earlier at the 2022 Fashion Trust Awards in London, another pair of iconic British designers, Dame Vivian Westwood and Pam Hogg, also made it abundantly clear Macon doesn't exactly rate in their chick stratosphere. When asked if she'd ever be interested in collaborating with the Duchess, Westwood replied with a hard, no, absolutely not. She's a big no. Not even bothering with niceties or platitudes, just a full-bodied thanks, but no thanks, that would make Simon Cowell wince. Her fellow Brit designer Pam Hogg then chimed in with, I wouldn't go there, no. Just a whole mood of complete and total derision from high society for Prince Harry's polarizing wife. And considering Hogg has built her empire dressing celebs like Lady Gaga, you know she's not running scared from any faux royals or faux social causes. She can spot the real deal a mile away. But let's get back to Julian's royal roast because it's just far too delicious not to marinate in further. What makes his Markle mockery especially spicy is the crystal clear implication that she's not even in the same league as the other women he happily associates with. I'm talking about icons like Beyonce, Kelly Minogue, and Jennifer Lopez, whom Julian very deliberately shouted out during his speech. To be that blatantly ignored and diminished on an international stage in your alleged industry of choice, well, let's just say, I'd hate to be the assistant cleaning red wine out of whatever pricey neutral tone couches adorned Megan's $14.5 million Montecito castle that night. You just know she positively lost it. After all, Julian's celebrity guest list alone that evening would have had Megan seething with envy. He basically rolled out the red carpet for bona fide triple threats like Amanda Holden, Michelle Heaton, and Ashley Roberts from the legendary Pussycat Dolls. Fierce fabs all who have actually, you know, achieved legitimate fame and cultural status through talent and accolades. So he gets so contemptuously dismissed by one of the UK's reigning hot couturiers in front of all those far more relevant celebrities who get to frolic in Julian's luxuriously lush designs. We're talking a level of humiliating shade that even Naomi Campbell might wince at. And considering those pussycat doll ladies have been dominating the pop scene and gracing front covers at the same time Megan's reality TV popularity peaked with suits, you know they had to sting worse than a botched turret in treatment. Those are the true icons of her time, not some disgruntled duchess who keeps chasing 15 more minutes of fame through any old Oprah interview. In fact, now that I'm really pondering it, maybe it was a miscalculation to sympathize with Megan even a smidgen at the top of this rant has yet another revered fashion industry voice made crystal clear. She just doesn't have the factor, the hustle, the bona fide credentials to earn that rarefied caliber of designers' respect and affections. She's an Erevis trying to leech the glitz and glam from societies she simply doesn't belong to. That's why someone like Julian can turn around and praise more grounded female figures like Kate and Camilla in the same breath he dismisses Megan. Say what you will about the actual royals, but they understand brand management duty, tradition, and etiquette in a way Megan clearly never will if left to her own thirsty Hollywood devices. So what do you guys think about it? Please share your thoughts in the comment and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposes on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.